what's kind of your mindset as we get close to to the season right now? Um, well, obviously, just uh, kind of remembering everything from last year, um, and really my three years that I've been here. I'm um, just trying to take the veteran approach and uh, try to teach these young guys what I've learned in my three years here, and and really uh, play like I we did my first two years, play with a chip on our shoulder and. Uh, play like we're like we're the underdog instead of like uh, a team who's been to back to back three sixteen. So um, just kind of figuring out what we need to do and, and getting back to the culture that we're, what we're used to. It seemed like leadership was an issue last year. Do you kind of try to take take that on some maybe? Yeah, I think I've always been. Even my freshman year, I was always a very vocal guy. Um, obviously, we had a ton of talent and a ton of um, depth and, and older guys on that team. But uh, I've always been a guy who's always tried to lead um, in the best way that I could. And, uh, lead by example first, but also be a vocal guy on the court and in the locker room. So um, I think that's one of my biggest roles, being a, a fourth-year guy, a guy who's played a ton of minutes here um, and, and pretty much gone through the ups and downs of just about everything you can go through in a college career. Um, I think I'll definitely have to take on that role a lot this year. What did you do over the summer to really work on your individual game and you added some weight and, and that kind of thing? Yeah, uh, I've gained about 10 pounds from last year uh, just trying to get bigger and uh, get stronger and stuff like that. And, um, obviously, I'm going to probably have a little bit different role this year, adding a guy like Lonzo to the mix who, um, who can really let me do what I do best and get off the ball a lot more. And, uh, so just trying to refine those things that I haven't been able to do as much in the last two years um, and just work on coming off down screens, coming off different stuff, moving around the ball and uh, catching and shooting off quick turns and stuff like that that um, I haven't had to do a whole lot of. Um, I've done a lot of ball screen stuff in the last couple of years, and um, now I can finally get back to, to what I do best off the ball and, and have a guy like Kim will really help. How talented is Lonzo from what you've seen so far? Uh, well, he's one of the most hyped kids I've ever seen out of high school, but it is well-deserved. Um, he, he's probably the best passer I've ever played with, um, along with Kyle Anderson. Uh, there's a lot of similarities there. Um, extremely athletic, uh, can do just about anything you want him to do. Um, so he's, he's going to bring a lot of different aspects that we haven't had in a while. How does he handle that? Uh, he does, he's better at it than what I thought. Um, like I said, I've never seen somebody um, with the amount of fans that he has as an 18-year-old. Uh, we go to Australia, and he's got 50 to 100 people waiting outside of games with autographs. And um, that's crazy, you know, like we're across the, the world. So um, for somebody that has that kind of hype around him, he does an unbelievable job of handling it and, and to keep himself humble and uh, he works as hard as anybody I know, so he does a great job with it. What kind of opportunity do you think you guys have with this freshman class and, and the veteran guys you have to, to have a good year this year? Well, I think we got the perfect mix. I think uh, in my four years here, uh, this is kind of like my freshman year. Uh, we got a lot of good talent coming in, um, but we have a ton of guys coming back that have played and, and done just about everything you can imagine at this level. So um, I think we have a perfect mix at, at every position uh, that, that we really want. Um, we got guys that can shoot the ball at a very high level. Uh, we got guys that can pass the ball at a very high level. Um, then we got very, very skilled bigs uh, up front. So uh, very exciting for the roster that we have. Do you have any specific goals in your mind right now for what you want to see the team accomplish this season? Uh, well, obviously, first and foremost, getting back to the tournament, um, just as a very low goal. Uh, that's what we want to do. That's, that's where we belong. Um, obviously, winning the Pac-12 championship would be a huge goal of mine. I haven't done that yet. Um, and just really really getting the culture back to what it was. I think that's the biggest thing, uh, especially early in the season, is really uh, get, defining our identity as a basketball team and getting back to what we, what we usually do. From a personal standpoint, uh, what are your goals? Uh, well, I mean, I'm, I've always been about winning. Uh, my personal stuff has always been about winning. I could care less what my stat line is, what, what, it, what it all is. At the end of the day, um, I've been here for four years. I've done a lot of good things as, as a UCLA basketball player. Um, I've had a pretty good career, I would say. And uh, at the end of the day, it's going to come down to whether I win games or lose games. That's what people remember you as. So um, I'd love to just win a ton of games this year and see what happens. This is your last year with your dad is in this role. Have you thought about that at all? Is that special? Yeah, I, I don't think it'll really sink in until I think it's over, which is, which is kind of sad because um, it went by so fast. Uh, I mean, four years, you think it's, a, it's an eternity, but it feels like yesterday I was just coming in here for, for preseason practice as a freshman. So uh, being able to play for my dad has been probably the most special thing that I've ever been able to do uh, in my life. So uh, really going to try to cherish it these last uh, few months. What did you think when he wrote that letter at the end of last season? That's something not a lot of coaches do. Yeah, well, um, 
I didn't even know about it, to be honest with you. I, I, I saw it on Twitter. That was the first time I saw it. So um, I think it shows what kind of person he is, uh, the competitor that he is, um, and he, that he expects a lot more not only as, as an individual as himself, uh, but he expects a lot more out of this program, out of this team, out of his players. So um, I think it just shows uh, what kind of person he is and uh, really shows how competitive he is. Thank you guys. Thanks. Thanks. Appreciate it.